Hey, hey everybody, Brock Freddy here, helping you enjoy your ride. In this video, we're gonna talk about things that you didn't know about the Lexus LC500. It has a pop-up hood. Check this out. Let's say you're driving and I walk out in front of you and you hit me. Yeah, you run over me, right? Now, considering that this thing is so low, most likely, if you hit me, I'm going to go whack, 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 whack. So Lexus has designed a pop-up hood that in the event that you do run over somebody, there are little, it's like charges right there, there, in that, um, in that hinge, and in that hinge. And if you hit a person or a, a bigger animal, then these are gonna spring up one inch in the front and they're gonna cause the back of the hood to spring up three inches. So the hood is actually gonna create a buffer. If you hit somebody, it's gonna spring up. It's actually gonna go like that and create a buffer between the hood itself and the engine to almost create a, a landing, softer landing place. It's got a pop-up hood. Number two, contrary to popular belief, LC does not stand for Lexus Coupe or Luxury Coupe. LC stands for Lexus Challenge. And that challenge is what Akio Toyota, the CEO, issued to Lexus designers and engineers in the creation of the LC500. Because they actually had to do things that had never been done on a car before. Number three, the ridiculous craftsmanship. The leather shift knob under here has 10 layers of a urethane material. The stitching here, this is a groove and if we could peel this away there is a groove that is carved into the handle itself so that it can account for the stitching right here. So they actually lay this stitching into the groove inside the hard piece of that shifter underneath there so that it remains perfectly even all the way down and up the back side of the shifter. A lot of thought went into that shift knob. Number four, the front caliper diameter is 15.7 inches. The wheel size of the original 1990 LS400 was 15 inches. The brakes on the LC500 are larger than the entire wheel of the original LS400. I'm sure you've heard of a samurai sword before, but have you heard of a katana sword? Well, that's another sword in Japanese culture. The silver strip that you see along the top of that door is crafted after a katana sword. You can see the end of it right there. See that? Everything about this car is ridiculously incredible. Number six, the tail lights each have 80 LEDs and they use the infinity mirror principle which appears dimensionally endless and are patterned after a fighter jet afterburner. The infinite afterburner appearance is actually a strategically placed one-way mirror with the tail light reflecting back on itself. The full lamp assembly is only three inches deep. Number seven, the headlights are composed of a polaric ellipsoid system. This design allows for the lens itself to be half the size of a conventional LED lamp. It can be placed directly in front of the wheel arch. Lexus actually had to basically invent this headlight. Also integrated is the next generation daytime running light design, which has been completely reworked to eliminate grain in the light signature. This is completely smooth. There's no separation in the LED light. It's actually the world's thinnest LED. Those are the things that you didn't know about the Lexus LC500. And if you did know them, congratulations, good job. You're probably a Lexus aficionado. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up. And also, if you would like more content like this delivered to you, hot off the press as soon as I make it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching everybody, and remember the most important thing of all, 
Have a wonderful day, everybody.